Hi everybody, welcome in. So glad you're here. Thanks for sharing this sacred space with me. This is the Connected Conduit and I'm going to um, bring forth a channeled romance reading for you, okay? So if the title brought you in here, there's most likely a message in here for you. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happy single, living in the moment, having fun, the golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship and love bombing. Engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, and complete union. Okay. So it looks like you are moving on from a narcissistic relationship, and it doesn't have to be a diagnosed narcissist. It could just be somebody who has um, those traits, right? So somebody very egotistical, very selfish, very self-absorbed, okay? Um, a situation where you are giving more than the person was giving, okay? And you're moving on from that now and you're really like stepping into your own personal power. You're in enjoying your freedom, your time with friends. You're having a good time. Yeah, you've worked through a lot of those emotions, you've done your healing work, and it looks like in the near future we have partnership, okay, or union with somebody really special. It could be a twin flame with the four of wands here, okay, it could lead to an engagement potentially, and we have, look, the fool starting over, and it's a zero, right cycles it's a zero and look at the ring it's a circle right circle zero circle eternity an everlasting promise so that's what you're moving towards look oh my goodness it's just been confirmed again the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck that's legacy abundance, wealth, family, joy, happiness, the house, the car, the dogs, everything, if that's what you want, okay? If that's not something that you want, then this is most likely not your reading, okay? But if this is resonating with you so, so far, then this is for you. And it's because you're so high vibe. You're so high vibe that you're attracting this high vibe relationship in, right? Like attracts like, okay? Tell us more, please. I'm feeling this energy of you don't want things to be complicated. You want things to just be easy and you want things to flow you're not the type of person that likes drama. You don't like conflict. Um, you are, you know, a peaceful person at heart. You're a lover, not a fighter. You're most likely an empath, which is why you were involved with a narcissist because they are attracted to empaths because of their power, right? I'm not going to go into it. Um, you probably already know this. And if you don't, you can look it up online. There's so much information out there on the narcissist empath paradigm. Okay. See, we've got healing on the bottom of the deck. This tarot deck is so cool. It's called the Secrets of Paradise Tarot. And it has some extra cards in it. Um, which I really like. So it has a healing card. It has a coexist card, which is all about, you know, living and accepting and embracing other people's differences. And there's also a universe card. So it goes one step further in this deck. So usually the Tarot, the, the Rider Waite Tarot goes to the world card. But in this deck, it, it uses the universe, the cosmos. Cool, huh? Yeah, so Secrets of Paradise Tarot. Really great. Really great deck. Okay. Uh, 
I am seeing that you are planning a road trip or a tropical vacation. And it's, it's with other girls <laughs> or other guys. Take it how it resonates. It's with your friends, okay? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so you might have three. You're planning this with three other people or there's three of you total who are planning a little vacation, a getaway. Um, Cuba is coming through. Yeah, I just heard Veradero. Veradero. Um, Mexico and Jamaica. That's coming through. And I'm also hearing the Caribbean coast. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Oops, the Caribbean coast. I'm putting those in, they fell out weird. So I feel like, yeah, you're moving on. Part of your healing journey is like just living in the moment and having fun, you know, dancing with life again, letting your hair down. <laughs> I just heard like doing a little shimmy, you know? You've got a sense of humor. There's a lightness to your energy. Um, good, you know, I'm just so, so happy that this person hasn't, you know, knocked you down. I'm sure, you know, you had your moments of, of pain, grief, and sorrow, but you haven't let it hold you back or, or bring you down. I can really sense that. Um, so you're very strong. Empaths usually are. It's just that people mistake empaths kindness for weakness and it's it's a big mistake <laughs> right they have to learn the hard way the queen of swords yeah this is having good boundaries with people standing in your truth seeing things clearly and I'm hearing never again never again <laughs> never again am I going to be with somebody like that I am aware of the red flags and I am on the lookout right it's always a learning experience king of pentacles yeah I want someone stable grounded committed open, honest, truthful, someone who isn't hiding things, right? Wearing a mask. I'm going to stay away from the charmers. That's what I just heard. You're done with the charmers, right? You're very discerning. You can see through people's facades. And I'm getting a song <laughs> and it's in relation to your fun energy that's coming through. It's, um, She's got the beat, she's got the beat, she's got the beat. Yeah, she's got it. <laughs> she's got the beat. Everybody get up and dance. She's got the beat. Step back, she's got the beat. Round and round and round. Woo! <laughs> so I feel like you're dancing to the beat of your own drum. You've got the beat in your heart, you know? I love it. You're very resilient and you've learned a lot and you're moving on to a beautiful, beautiful new journey, new phase. Commitment, marriage, engagement. I mean, we've got the four of wands here. That's what it symbolizes. And I'm definitely feeling that off the card. Healing came out, so you're definitely focused on your healing, healing from, you know, this one-sided relationship you were on, and you're becoming more balanced with, within the self, and you're protecting your energy more. I feel like now you're more aware of who you give your energy to, or what you give your energy to, and who you allow into your space who you allow to have access to you because you are now aware that your energy is gold. It's gold. 
It's priceless. So you need to protect it, right? Nine of swords, bottom of the deck, because we, you don't want to end up here again. Because some people will take advantage, right? Take advantage of your kindness, your generosity, your compassion, your understanding. So you're learning how to discern between the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> Right? That's beautiful. Five of Wands. Yeah, this person caused a lot of conflict, chaos, delay in your life. I just heard this person used you as like a sounding board. Um, and not in the typical, not in the typical sense where like usually that means you talk to someone to like spring ideas off of them and just see what they think but that's that's not the meaning that's coming through it's like they used you to just like project onto you and to see how you would react to certain things it was a game is what i'm feeling this person was a game they liked to push your buttons stir up trouble Yeah, it, unfortunately, it brought them pleasure, and that's very typical with a narcissist. And it caused you a lot of confusion internally. You were really struggling with things. Okay, this person could have been quite manipulative and made you, like, second-guess yourself um, and your sanity, you know? Ten of Wands, that's just being burdened, exhausted, weighed down, like you can't carry this anymore. Um, carrying around this person was like a dead weight to you right? They, they were taking and taking and taking. Look, look at this guy just chopping the bamboo and carrying it. This person just took and took and took and took from you. Again, this person was a taker, not a giver. You were the giver. And um, I feel like you realize this person needs to be, you've cut this person out though. And if you haven't done so, you're, you will. You will be doing that. But yeah, they used you as a sounding board to almost like hear their own, own voice. They like the sound of their own voice. Weird. Okay. Interesting message coming through. I'm, I'm sensing somebody very insecure. Very insecure. Very low confidence. Okay, let's move away from this person um, because I feel you have and you're, you're enjoying yourself. So let's not dwell on that. Let's move on over to the engagement ring. Celebrate good times, come on. Dun, 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 dun. It's celebration time. Seven of Wands, fighting for, you know, what you want in life. Standing your ground, asserting yourself, setting boundaries with people, knowing what you want and fighting for it, not giving up, having determination. <laughs> the person that you meet may try to impress you, <laughs> is what I'm getting. And look, there's the universe card on the bottom of the deck. This new connection is brought to you by the universe. <laughs> Stay tuned. Tell us more about this person coming towards the viewer, please. You know what I just heard? You're going to meet them and you're never going to look back. You're never going to look back. You're going to meet them and never look back on the painful past or anything like that. You're going to forget everything <laughs> and you're just going to be really, really happy with this person. La Bruja, the magician, stepping into your personal power. Okay, whoever you meet is going to be a master manifester. You're magnetically drawn to each other. I was 
gonna say something, but it totally, bloop, <laughs> totally just went puff, like a puff of smoke out of my mind. Maybe it'll come back to me. This person is going to have a lot of, um, that's what I was gonna say, thank you. This person is going to be very self-confident and assured in who they are. They are a very powerful person. They're very confident. They know who they are and they know what they want. They're not like this past person who was really um, low self-confidence, right? And didn't, and basically took that out on you. So yeah, this person's going to know their worth and they're going to celebrate the fact that you are a powerful person. They're gonna like that about you. They're not going to be intimidated by that, right? Because weak people are intimidated by others. Like the narcissist is intimidated by the empath's power. And so that's why they try to like break people down and degrade them into feeling how they feel about themselves. It's all projection. Anyway, so this new person is going to adore the fact that you are a powerful person and so are they. You're, you're going to be on the same level, okay? You're going to be on the same level. Oh my gosh, I just got the cutest download. Okay, thank you. You're going to be on the, like, hit the same note, hit the same note. And then I thought of that um, movie with Will Smith and... Oh, she's in the notebook. She's super popular. Rachel, Rachel Wilson? I'm not sure. She's in the notebook. Okay, she's Canadian. She's awesome. And um, it's Eurovision, Eurovision. And they talk about the Spjorg note, the Spjorg note, which is the most perfect musical note you can hit. And oh my God, if you haven't seen it, watch it. It's so awesome. And I just got that download as I looked at this bell. Like it's, you both are going to hit the Spjorg note, the Spjorg note. When you guys come together, the vibration that you're going to make will be like that perfect vibration, the perfect note, the perfect sound, the Spjorg note. Oh my gosh. I love that. I love that. It's bringing tears to my eyes. Okay. I love that so, so very much for you. You deserve it. You deserve love. Okay, let's get some romance angels. If you enjoyed this message, please hit the like button. I would really, really appreciate that. And if you're new and you feel called to subscribe, please do so. I would love, love, love to have you. Okay. Look, as I was saying, you deserve love. There's the card, you deserve love. Yes, you do. And it's coming to you. And you know this. You know this. You're a powerful, powerful person. You've been doing the work. I love your energy. You are so positive and so sweet. And you haven't let this person tear you down. or And you're not going to let them hold you back. Honeymoon. Come on, you guys. Look. Engagement. Marriage. And honeymoon. Bing. A bang, a boom. Engagement, marriage, honeymoon. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Confirmed. That is absolutely beautiful, you guys. And we have release your ex on the bottom of the deck, which I feel that you have. And if you're still in the process of doing that or a are about to do that um yeah just i'm sending you lots of extra added energetic support and love and light and you are a strong person you can do it you've got everything it takes to do that inner work and um, you're a healer and if you feel like you need to seek you know healing you can definitely do that there's lots of wonderful things like sound healing, Reiki healing, chakra healing, um, meditation. And of course, if you need to see like an actual doctor or a counselor or a therapist, absolutely 100% do that. Whatever you're being called to do in order to fully let go and step into this beautiful new phase in your life, my darling. Look at that. The sun is shining. That's where you're headed. I love it. I love it for you. 
Thank you so much for sharing this sacred space with me today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.